What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is the helper here and today we are finally going to do the timer tutorial I know you guys have been waiting for this so I'm finally going to do it So the first thing we need to do is go into plugins, Epic Boss Gold Edition and we go into timers and here we have some pre-made example of timers but we're not going to use those, we're going to create some new one So uh, I think you know how to create a new YML file um, it's not the first time you do it. So we're going to call the file testTimer.yml. We save it. We can delete this one. And then we open it up with Notepad++. Alright. So the first thing we need to add is the uh, uh, the CMD name, command name, setting name. And we're going to call this boss timer. And then we hit enter, two spaces, and then we type bosses. And here we can add the uh, boss name. So uh, we're going to use the boss we made, which is test boss. Then we're going to add max amount. And the max amount is the amount that the timer will spawn, so we will spawn free. And then we have respawn time. And we put it to 10 seconds, this is always seconds, so you have to put it in seconds. And then we have walk distance. We put it to zero, just to show you. We save it, and we will go in-game, first start up the server as usual. We will go in-game. There we go. Alright, so, we need a sign as well. The first thing we need to do is... Uh, create a location, so we're going to put the location 1 here, so we do eb lock add lock 1 and I will just do eb lock list to make sure it's there, yes so we have a location and we have a timer in the settings, so now we're going to add the timer to the world and define it where it should spawn so the first thing you need to do is type epic timer it's very important to put at epic timer. Then you put the timer name, which is boss timer. And then we put the location we want it to spawn on, lock one. This sign can be wherever you want on the server. It needs to be there since that's how you connect the, the, the timer to the location and uh, make it spawn. So if you made it correct, this should, uh, epic timer should turn green when we hit uh, done. And we can see it hits uh, green and the timer has start. So in 3 seconds, 2, 1, the bus should spawn. There we go. And it will continue to uh, count down since the, the max amount is free. So there needs to be 3 bosses and, uh, and then it will uh, stop the timer. So we will wait until there will be 3 of them. Ta-da! And now the timer stopped since there's three of them. If we now kill one of them... Ah, they're kinda hard to kill. Yeah, if we kill this one, like this, the timer will restart since there is only two bosses and the max amount is free, so it will spawn another one like that. So uh, that's how it works. If we go back to the config we can use the walk distance. If you put walk distance to 0 it won't use the walk distance. But if you put it to 5 the mobs should only be able to walk 5 uh, blocks away. So if we do eb reload and then uh, we can see uh, Right, game mode zero. As you can see, they can walk uh, more than five blocks away from the location, and this has to do with the settings. Um, so if we go to the uh, server uh, location and we go into settings, we can see that the walk update is every half minute. So every half minute the timer will be checked and uh, all the bosses uh, that the timer has spawned 
will uh, check if they are five blocks away or more. If they are more, they will get teleported back. But this is only every half minute. So if you put it back to one second, and we do EB, wait, we can do it in game. EB reload. As you can see, now it went a half minute. But if we do EB reload, you can see every one second they will get teleported back if they are away five blocks more from the timer location. But when you do this, you have to make sure uh, that it's a good amount that you put here, a good value, since if you have very low, like one second, it will check every one second and that will be kind of intense for the server. If you have a big server, it works for now since I only have one timer and a few bosses, so it works kind of good. But if you have a lot of bosses and a lot of timers, I highly recommend you guys to maybe put this to maybe half a minute or one minute. You have to, one minute, 60 seconds. You have to experiment yourself what fits your server. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. But we can also do another thing. So I have to uh, put it today. But this is one is kind of kind of unique. Uh, I will go into the timer, no, actually into the mobs, and I will go into test boss and open it up. And here we have the test boss, you know. So if I take this and just copy it, so we have one exactly the same, but we will make it a bigger boss named Zombie, and we can name it Zombie or some boss king, and it can be level. And I will name him uh, Test King just to show you. And then save it. And now, if we go into test timers, we have test boss here. If I only type test, it will take all bosses that has test in them and spawn. So this one has test, and this one has test. So it will have either take this one or this one and spawn. So it's like a random spawning thing. So if I now go back into the game and do EB reload and now we need to kill them if they can stop run away. Let's just kill one or maybe all of them. Just put it into corner and kill them. Right, so I killed one, and the timer should have started, yes. There we go. Alright. So now it should spawn some new one. We don't want these small guys. Let's kill him again. Let's see if it spawns a bigger one. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, we spawn a boss king. So it's, it picks randomly of, uh, yeah, all the bosses that have test in them. That's everything for this tutorial. I hope you get something from it. It's kind of tricky to use timers, but I hope this helps a little bit. And remember to like the video and subscribe for more advanced tutorials. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.